Well, in one of the clear signs of Washington's shifting wartime priorities, nearly 500 U.S. Army combat engineers are being sent from Iraq to southern Afghanistan. The transfer of the troops, who specialize in clearing roads of explosives, moved into its final stages on Monday. Gui Xiaozheng has the details. It's the largest movement so far of personnel and equipment as U.S. President Barack Obama shifts the focus to the fight in the Taliban heartland. It's now clear some of the troops and firepower will flow directly from Iraq, where the Pentagon plans to gradually draw down its more than 132,000 personnel before the withdrawal of all combat forces by September 2010. Obama has ordered 17,000 more U.S. soldiers and Marines to Afghanistan to bolster the 38,000 American troops already battling the resurgent Taliban. Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Landers says they received word of their reassignment last month. Since then, his troops have conducted routine operations while preparing to depart. They've also held a combat patch ceremony, which is usually done when soldiers return home. Uh, because we wanted our soldiers to, to understand that they've been to combat and that they're shifting from one theater to another. So we wanted them to go into this new theater with their combat patch on, something that most units might do when they return back home. By the end of next year, the U.S. military presence in Iraq could be down to about 30 to 50,000 personnel to train and advise local security forces. Although violence is down sharply across Iraq, a gradual rise in attacks recently has brought worries the relative calm may not last. Ku Xiaozeng, CCTV.